at the Haunted Attraction, Nightmare on 13th, there are actually 13 main themes you will encounter in this attraction. And they have entirely different backstories and different logos. And I'm going to show you all that in this video. And there also is a VIP upgrade exclusive haunt attraction called the Institute of Terror. So wait until the end of this video. And I'll talk all about that. The first theme of Nightmare on 13th is called Black Water. And you're getting taken into a rotting old Louisiana Delta town. And there's a hoodoo queen. And she has black magic. And you do not want to mess with her because she will mess you up. And you do not want to encounter her and her minions in this attraction. In the Blackwater attraction, it's actually explaining to you the origins of Swamp Blood. And Swamp Blood is a theme that you encounter later in the attraction. So they tie mobile stories and mobile themes you go through together. So I think that's really neat. The next theme is called Deep Freeze, and this transports you to the Himalayan mountains where there's yetis, and they are actually the minions of the main ice monster that's there, even crazier monster. So it should be a really interesting attraction. I like that they're doing that. I like that they have a yeti theme. You don't see that often in attractions, so I'm happy that they do that. So that should be really fun. And in the backstory, it actually says when you're walking, be careful where you walk because the ice might break and you fall into the mountain. So I like that with the backstory. Nightmare Alley is the next theme. And this is where you're going into this dark gothic town where the darkness is taking over this town. And the people are actually really going insane and going to this church and they're worshipping the Great Pumpkin. So this should be a very beautiful attraction with that church that's going to be in this attraction. I bet the set design is excellent and you see all these crazy people worshipping the Great Pumpkin and that just the darkness is taking over people. So it should be a really interesting theme. The next theme is called the Dark Ride of Terror, and just like you think, it is a broken down dark ride, and the backstory says it's been broken down for 30 years, and there's still decrepit rides in there, and crazy carnies, and you have to look out for them. This should be an excellent attraction. They could do all kinds of fun stuff with the set design and the characters. With the marketing, I've seen cool looking characters that look like Demented Carnies. So this definitely will be a fun attraction. All kinds of cheesy effects with the dark ride mixed with great scares. So I just think this would be an excellent theme to go through. I would love to see this attraction. So it would just be so much fun. I'd love to go through a haunted attraction that looks like a broken down dark ride. So this would be so much fun and you definitely would have your guard down when you're having fun looking at these different set designs of these broken down rides and then you get really good scares. And the next theme is called I Scream. Instead of ice cream, I scream. And some crazy clowns have gotten an ice cream truck and are now feeding people ice cream. And they don't know what the ingredients are. Are they using people to make this ice cream? What are they doing? Are they putting poison in it? You don't know. You're just going to have to find out to go through this attraction. So there's definitely going to be an interactive ice cream truck scene in this, which will be fun. And I definitely think it's awesome with all these clown characters. I've seen some of the marketing with the main clown character. That looks like a demented clown that's serving up ice cream and he has a giant ice cream cone. And there's just all kinds of excellent characters in this. It should be a lot of fun and it should be scary as well. If you're scared of clowns, this definitely will be the attraction that scares you a lot in this attraction so definitely look forward to this it will be an interactive very interesting very whimsical attraction so definitely look forward to it the next attraction is Helheim and this is actually going to be a Nordic nightmare and when the northern lights are out the veil between our world and Helheim is at its thinnest and you will encounter these characters, and it's going to be a Nordic nightmare, like I said. So Nordic characters are going to be coming after you, and it should be really intense. In this attraction, you will meet Hel, spelled H-E-L, and she is the goddess of death, and she is getting ready for the Ragnarok with her minions. So it should be a really crazy, really nice detail and really scary, and definitely a theme you haven't encountered in a haunted attraction before, most likely 
with the Nordic Nightmare. So I really like that they are trying different themes that a lot of haunted attractions don't do. So should be really unique and very scary. After you barely survive the Nordic Nightmare of Helheim, you are going to encounter the deep underground crypts of Midian. And this attraction is called Ossuary. So it should be really interesting. There's going to be characters with fangs in there. They're going to be coming after you with bones. It should be really dark and dank and creepy. Inside the ossuary is a beast and it feeds on the wicked and it is worshipped by the dead. So definitely look out for the undead minions of this beast and they are coming to get you to feed you to this beast. And most likely near the end of the track you will actually encounter this beast. So it should be very scary very dark and dank, and you will definitely have to be ready for a scary attraction. The next attraction is called the Call of Cthulhu, and you're going to be abandoned on the island of Rile, and it's going to be a Lovecraftian attraction, and you're going to experience seeing the Great One, and the Great One is awaiting your presence and is ready to terrorize you. In this attraction, you should expect lots of excellent set design and lots of very interesting fish-like characters that are definitely going to be very different from the other attractions. After you see the Great One in the Call of Cthulhu, you will be transported to Sleepy Hollow. And the backstory for this attraction is there are two sisters that were shunned because they were accused of doing witchcraft, and their third sister was actually burned because they said she was doing witchcraft and was a witch, and they are putting a hex on the town of Sleepy Hollow and want to ravage the town and seek their revenge for the townsfolk killing their sister and burning her to death because they accused her of witchcraft. After you barely survive in Sleepy Hollow, you will go into the Blackthorn Manor. And this is your classic manor attraction. And this should be very gothic and be very interesting and have all kinds of creepy ghosts and ghouls in there. And the backstory says, just like some things are living and are haunted, this house is haunted and it's a living entity and it's haunted and there's going to be crazy characters in there. And it's going to be very spooky and it's going to get you in those perfect Halloween vibes of that creepy manor. So if you're a big fan of going through haunted attractions that are themed to a gothic manor, this will be the one for you. The next attraction is called The Depths. And this attraction is going to be an underground cavern area. So you're going to have that grungy, dank area of the caverns. And there's going to be creatures in there. And they're looking for the treasures of the earth in search of the void. So it should be an interesting attraction. Definitely dank and creepy again with creatures in that cavernous area. Tying back into the first attraction you go through in the Nightmare on 13th Blackwater... Here's the attraction Swamp Blood. So on the outskirts of Blackwater is Swamp Blood. So now you're going through that. And this is where the Hoodoo Queen is. And she actually has a beast that she feeds. And it's actually abnormally large due to her testing on it with all kinds of black magic. So be on the lookout for this abnormally large beast and the Hoodoo Queen in there. And all of her followers. So this should be a very interesting attraction very creepy. Definitely look for lots of voodoo imagery. And then eventually you will see this massive beast, most likely towards the end of this attraction. And it should be very interesting. The last theme of Nightmare on 13th is called Dark Harvest. And this is where you'll encounter the Harvester and his army that he has stitched together. So implying with the stitch together it's going to be crazy scarecrows and all kinds of interesting characters. This is definitely an attraction for people that love classic Halloween and traditional Halloween. Look out for all the pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and you'll look for scarecrows and all that great stuff. It's definitely going to be in this attraction and lots of vines everywhere and it's going to be very interesting. Definitely iconic classic Halloween and I would definitely love going through this attraction. Just from this backstory I know I would love it. And at the end of the backstory, it says that the Harvester has now planted his seed of evil. And we're going to find out what happens 
if you go into this attraction. So not only has the Harvester stitched together an army, he has also now planted his seed of evil, and now we'll see what happens, what grows from that. So it should be a very interesting attraction, lots of fun imagery, lots of great scares, and definitely an excellent end to the Nightmare on 13th. Like I said earlier, if you stick to the end of this video, you'll hear about the VIP exclusive attraction, and it's called the Institute of Terror. And the backstory for this is you are going into an asylum, and there's an awful thunderstorm outside, and it knocks the power out. So now you're in this crazy asylum with all of these patients, and the lights are out, and they're going absolutely bonkers. So this should be a very scary interactive attraction, and this will be the 14th theme you go through if you do this VIP upgrade and get to go through this attraction. So you'll get to go through 14 themes, 13 themes I already talked about, and the Institute of Terror. And this Institute of Terror sounds very terrifying, and they should have all kinds of great sound effects of the thunder and the lightning, and it should be really awesome. So definitely look forward to this. That was the Haunted Informer. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notified every single time I put a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. And I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links below. And tell me about which theme piqued your interest the most. Which one do you think would be the scariest and the most fun at Nightmare on 13th? And are you going to do the VIP upgrade and do the Institute of Terror? Tell me all about that in the comments below. And as always... Happy hauntings.